In this question, we are examining the reaction between a base and an ammonium salt. In this case, ammonium sulfate is the ammonium salt used in this question. The unbalanced equation is shown below the question. Calcium hydroxide reacts with ammonium sulfate to liberate ammonia gas. First question requires us to copy and balance this chemical equation. To balance a chemical equation, we will look at individual elements or individual anions to see if they are balanced between the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation. Calcium in this case is balanced because we see one calcium on the left hand side and one calcium on the right hand side of the equation. Sulfate is another example which is also balanced with one sulfate on the left hand side and the other sulfate on the right hand side as well but ammonium in particular uh, nitrogen is not balanced you have two nitrogen here on the left hand side but only one on the right hand side of the equation so we will start off with ammonia since this is the first element we identify we will normally start with an element that has itself repeated only once. Ammonia only appear one in a compound and the one on the right hand side. Unlike oxygen and hydrogen which reappear in more than one compound on the right hand side. Look at here. Oxygen appear first time in calcium sulfate and the second time in water. Hydrogen appear itself one time in ammonia gas and second time in water so it's more difficult to balance hydrogen and oxygen first so we start with nitrogen so i will write a two there a two And then we will know then we will proceed on to hydrogen. Hydrogen now have six hydrogen. And two hydrogen in water together you have eight hydrogen. Okay. So hydrogen is balanced or not? Not really balanced. Then we will look at oxygen. Oxygen has four here on the left hand side in ammonium sulfate and two oxygen in calcium hydroxide. So you have six oxygen in total. Okay. Here you have four oxygen here and one oxygen here, so you have five oxygen. So to make it six, maybe you can consider adding a two beside water. So you will change this to four, ten. Now oxygen is balanced now with six oxygen. But let's check hydrogen now. Hydrogen here have eight and two. So total you have uh, ten hydrogen which is balanced. So every single element 
in balance hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and calcium so the balance equation is just an addition of two beside ammonia and two beside water okay next question calculate the relative molecular mass of ammonium sulfate use this to determine the mass and volume of ammonia at room temperature and pressure that will be produced when 264 gram of ammonium sulfate react with calcium hydroxide so first step is to find out the MR of ammonium sulfate To find the MR of ammonium sulfate, we will use the values given in the question. So ammonium sulfate consists of two nitrogen, so is two nitrogen. Nitrogen has a mass of fourteen plus. for part 2 for, uh, hydrogen has total 8 because 4 times 2 plus times sulfur 32 plus 16 16 times 4 Okay, 16 times 4 If you use your calculator and add up the masses Let's see what you will get. If you add up two times fourteen will give you twenty eight plus eight thirty six plus thirty two sixty eight plus sixteen times four will give you a value of 132 okay next you will determine the mass and volume of ammonia at room temperature and pressure so first we will find the mass we need to break down this problem into three parts first is to calculate the MR of ammonium sulfate which is already found and then Second is to find the mass of ammonia. So given ammonium sulfate as 264 gram, we will first apply the formula number of moles. This is the formula that we will always be using for mole calculation in terms of mass. Mass is equal to molar mass or MR times the number of moles of that particular substance whether it could be an element or a compound so in this case we are using ammonium sulfate to help us get the mass of ammonia gas ammonium sulfate has a mass of 264 so 264 to find the number of moles we need to divide 264 gram over the MR of 132 we should give a number of 2 moles of ammonium sulfate always remember that in more calculation for chemistry number of moles of the given substance or the quantity will always be the linking quantity to the answer so always remember find number of moles of the given substance in this case will be ammonium sulfate 
so every time for mole calculation just take note always find number of moles of the given substance okay after which you look at the equation the ratio of ammonium sulfate is to ammonia is 1 is to 2 so number of moles of ammonia will be based on this relationship number of moles of ammonia gas will be equivalent to 2 times 2 which is 4 moles all right after which you will compute the mass of ammonia using this triangle relationship but this time around you are given number of moles and MR you can find by calculating the MR of NH3 based on the values given here to find the mass so the mass of ammonia is equal to 4 moles times 17 17 is the MR of ammonia gas 14 plus 3 ammonia 14 H is 3 because there are 3 hydrogen so 4 times 17 will give you 68 grams okay last part of the question is to find the volume of ammonia gas at room temperature and pressure the second triangle relationship that you must know is the volume and molar volume relationship to find the volume of a gas remember this only apply to gas you'll be using molar volume instead of molar mass molar volume for every gas at room temperature pressure is always at 2, 4 dm cube standard quantity that you must remember the number of moles is already calculated earlier 4 moles for ammonia so molar volume 24 so 4 times 24 will give you the volume of ammonia gas that will be 96 dm 96 dm cube that will be the answer